So I seem to be going through a run of lambing sickness at the moment. When I took them in, they were fine. Just feeling a bit deflated, to be honest, because I never normally get this many lambing sickness outside. I mean, I'd be lucky if I get three in total for the whole of lambing. A lot of people have said you've got to be careful taking them inside because obviously change of diet. Not being able to have a wee peck of grass obviously disturbs them. But I thought I was doing the right thing, taking them in just under two weeks in from the first colour of lambing. It's not first colour, it's the second colour again that's the problem. They're getting molasses ad lib, they're getting lifeline buckets, they're obviously getting the ration. Yeah, I I don't know, it's it's getting me down a bit. This is the most frustrating part when the yows are in lamb. You get them in lamb, you think you're doing the right thing, you've given them time, you've got them onto the ration, you've given them literally everything and more, and then they're now going down like this. I feel like I'm at that stage where tiredness is kicking in. Um, there's a lot going on and it just feels like nothing good's happening. Like little tiny things just seem to feel like huge big problems. You just feel like they're going deeper and deeper and it doesn't matter what you do, but nothing seems to be going right. You try and help them and they end up throwing their lambs or they end up dying or they get their mate to go down with them. That's just definitely at that point where you question why you own sheep. And because this is the first year of lambing everything inside, this is a totally new experience and you don't really know what you should be doing what you shouldn't be doing. Like lambing sickness would never have had many outside. I think I'd, I want to say maybe two or three cases last year for the whole of lambing. I can't say the same for in here. I am absolutely not sharing this out of sympathy. I am sharing it because this is how I feel and this is what's going on. I've always said I will be 100% honest on here and I always will be. Um, and yeah. It's just all a bit shit at the moment. It's raining again outside, which isn't helping. And... So you guys are getting the grey CUP blocks again from Romenko. We used these for the first time last year. Uh, so that's what it looks like. We used these for the first time last year and got on really well with them. The earlies, I would say, got the most benefit out of them. So we found that by feeding these blocks, the yows milked hell of a well. The lambs were obviously then thriving very well. We got lambs away much sooner off the back of it and their weaning weights were much higher also in general. Um, now I will be honest, Romenko have very kindly given us these blocks to use. Not in return for anything but I just think it's important to share it if a product works well. I think it's important to share it. Likewise if it doesn't work well, you know, be honest. Um, but last year, as I said, it was the first year we used them and we did get on really well with them. So I'm looking forward to getting them out again this year. The owls haven't been too hard on them at the moment. Um, this is just their second blocks going out now. I'm hoping for the same results this year.
We bought this trailer last year uh, for cart and cheap out and it has been great so far. So each of the yows go in in their own little compartment and then as you fold this gate round it clips in there and then you've got your wee box for the lambs and then the next box comes out and then again fold that gate round clips in next box and then as you open the gates as well obviously they tuck round out the way so it's very handy for putting sheep out by yourself every time the sun comes out it looks like it's about to dry up it's warm and then the next minute it clouds over the wind picks up and the rain comes on I said it was meant to be dry today. So I've had one full load and then I've got a four. So I'll take this four up just now, take them outside. So as you can see, the lambs are obviously in their wee box. The boxes are probably just snug enough, especially if the lambs are a, a decent size. Um, and then obviously the yows are standing, they can still see their lambs but they can't stand on them, they can't hurt them. The lambs are safe in their wee boxes, um, but the yows are happy. So you can see they're nice and content. So we'll head out to the field now. Gotten this Can-Am on demonstration for the weekend. So I had it yesterday and I can tell you one thing, it's got no doors on it. It was freezing. And even though you were inside, you were still getting soaked. But on a day like today, lovely. So this is just a demonstrator one. Um, just having a wee shot of it. See what like. I think it's 700 cc, they said. So uh, same as the quad we've got. I'm trying to play about with it, taking sheep out, because it's actually a nice day. I mean, it's absolutely soaking underfoot, but the sun is shining. Blue skies. Let's get them out whilst it's dry. Well, that's the best thing that could have happened to this yow. She's been down with twin lamb for a few days now and I was getting really worried. Um, but as you can see, she's got three living lambs. She's looking a bit keener. I actually had to have a bit of a run and catch her because she's definitely a bit brighter. So we now just need her to recover and come on to a bit more milk that's kind of the worst of it if you do save the twin lambs they uh they tend to have very little to no milk which is in her case but hopefully now that most of the pressure's off i'll be really good to her um you know try and get some milk on to her hopefully she'll even just I mean, ideally she'd rear two, but if we can get her to rear one right now, that's better than nothing. So we'll see how it goes. But I'm glad that she's pulled through, the lambs are alive, and she's alive.
So I've just been going around and checking all my early years are outside and um, it's fairly starting to pick up now with the main lambing. So this year here, she'd lambed to herself, two nice strong lambs, lovely, lovely big udder. So I thought I'll just give it a wee test because I've not tested any of the main year's colostrum yet. So it literally just squirted it into my hand, went up, got my refractometer, put the tiniest amount on, you don't need a lot, couple of dots I mean you can see it's like really nice dark thick yellow stuff as you can see it's off the scale it is off the scale so these lambs are gonna get the best start in life so 10 points to you lass give her absolutely smashing it let's hope they're all like this Amongst all of this chaos, we're obviously still calving. Um, really, another sickener this morning. Cow calved last night about midnight. Lovely big strong bull calf. Come out this morning. Dad was on the camera at four, saw it running about, happy enough. Came out this morning. She's laying on it, and she's killed it. Those are the the worst. The absolute worst. Oh, just gotta let it go. Can't get it back now, so we just have to let it go. We also have vet students. We had some yesterday, we've got more today. Um, sorry, not vet students. We have vets, uh, vet grads. We also have some vet grads here. They were here yesterday and they're here today. Different, different ones yesterday to today. Um, doing some work, some practical work with the, the young calves. Uh, screening lungs etc for early onset pneumonia, fertility testing bulls, just doing a few different jobs, practical on-farm jobs um, and then they're going to have a chat with us about our health plans, um, if they've picked up on anything, if we've picked up on anything, just have a bit of a general chat. Uh, so yeah, find time to squeeze all that into. So this year's had three 
nice lammies. As you can see, she's got a very big teat. So they've managed to suck the other side, but I'm just going to milk this one down. As you can see, it's very big and full, so then they can get a hold and they can suck it themselves. So it just milked out just over 300 mil, and you can see this lamb is on sucking now. So I'm hoping he'll fill his belly and then that'll hopefully keep it keep on top of it and then they can keep it down. But obviously because she is a three, there will be one coming off. So we'll just leave her with the two. But she's got a nice set of three. A strong set of three. So my super talented sister has actually written her first ever cookbook and it is coming out in April this year. So if you want to pre-order it, I will pop the link for it in the description below. And I hope you enjoy making lots of the amazing recipes that she has created by herself. Between the sheets, a lasagna for every occasion. Pre-order your copy now so you can get making these delicious recipes. That's it for this video. Thank you as always for watching. I'm sorry, there is a wee slight delay at the moment just with videos, just because it is pretty hectic. Um, but I will get caught up. So thank you for being patient. I hope you've enjoyed it. And we'll see you for the next one.